Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle Jones, Jones Sport Fishing. Hey, I'm out here on the Hanford Reach. Uh, we finished out limited customers today, so I'm hanging out out here. I said I'd do a video for you guys, so I'm gonna go over um, kind of just the gist of downstream trolling. And uh, really, I think the biggest question that, we, that I'm getting asked is how far out are we putting our gear when we're trolling and what's our speed like when we're actually trolling downriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over some of that stuff here. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. So with that number one question being how deep are we running our gear and how do you know how deep you're fishing and line angles and all that kind of stuff, just kind of start by giving my, my quick rundown on um, on what I'm doing. So my when I have six lines out, so granted, I mean, I get a lot of stuff to deal with, but when I have six lines out, I have my 12 ounces up front, I'm running eight ounces in the middle, and I'm running six ounces off my back rods. Now, it's different. A lot of other places, guys really like to troll with heavy lead on the coast, I do, but here, for some reason, I get bit better when my gear is kind of out dancing around back behind the boat a little bit further. I don't know why. I don't have a good answer for it, but that's how it is. So remember that 12s, 8s, and sixes and so general rule of thumb now this is super general it changes but this is a good place to start from general rule of thumb is that I run my 12 ounce lines at the exact same depth that the bottom is so if we're in 25 feet of water I run my 12 ounces at 25 feet and then I run my 8 ounces 10 feet longer than my 12s and my sixes 10 feet longer than my eights so a standard setup for me if I was pulling into the very top of the hole, say it was 25 feet deep, I would go 25 with 12s, 35 with 8s, and 45 with 6s. And so that kind of, that's my breakdown. Um, that's basic, basic stuff. Sometimes, sometimes those fish are on the bottom. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're up higher. But my, my standard setup is 12s at the, at the distance the bottom is. That puts me... I don't know 10 feet within 10 feet of the bottom with a good trolling angle and so i guess there's a lot of trial and error but that alone will help uh will help you guys the other thing is is when i'm trolling i'm trying to maintain a good steady thump one two on my rod tips and i'll show you that here in a little bit um, when we go up and actually do a run and hopefully that'll help you guys but yeah i'm looking for that nice steady thump and when i get that thump those distances tend to get fish. Now, a lot of guys get questions, do we chase the bottom or out of stuff? Most of the time, no. I'm not chasing the bottom. I'm setting my gear. I don't care if if my gear is fishing 20 feet off the bottom. You'd be amazed. This water is 15, you can, 15 feet of visibility in this water. Those fish can see it. And a lot of times, especially early in the season like this, those aggressive fish will come up and get it. But later in the year when the water's cold, the fish are laying in the holes. If you see fish that are laying down in the hole and you're not getting bit, you should, you know, and you're not getting bit, go ahead and go after them. But still, you don't want to be bouncing bottom, coming up a crank. I spent a lot of years hitting bottom, coming up a couple of cranks, and leaving it there. Um, I also spent a lot of time hung up and missing out on fish that I would have caught had I been higher up. I caught fish, but not as many as I do now. So that's kind of the standard rundown. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go up and do a troll and hopefully we can get a fish or two. Bye. Hey guys, so hey, we're trolling here and I wanna show you what the ideal thump of a rod tip is when we're downstream trolling. So you see how on this rod, hopefully you guys can see it, it's got that one, two, three, you know, that kind of slow, steady pump. That's exactly what I want to see out of those rod tips. The other thing is if I am not, yep, see that, that's that nice pump. You want to see that one, two, three, four. That's the pump that you guys are looking for. Hey, so, uh, you know, even though we didn't hook any fish in that video, hopefully that, uh, that little tutorial there and those depths and stuff and also um, you know just getting to see what the rod looks like kind of helps answer some of those questions for you guys uh, I know it can be a little bit confusing you know um, we're back here in camp now you can see got my sweet little camp but anyway take those tips go try that if some of you guys that are a little bit confused whatnot and uh, hopefully that helps you guys anyway make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Fishing with Kyle. Uh, Fishing with Kyle Jones, and then uh, also make sure that you follow our uh, our Facebook page at jonesportfishing.com and also follow us on Instagram. We'd really appreciate it, guys. Anyway, thank you very much. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.